this lecture we are going to talk about uh, inheritance so inheritance allows us to define a class that inherits all the methods and properties from another class okay now there are two types of classes which you have to keep in mind the first one is the parent class and the second one is the child class now the parent class is a class uh, being inherited from also uh, it is known as base class child class is a class that inherits from another class that is the reason it is also known as derived class now let's understand this thing with the help of an example so let's create a parent class any class can be a parent class so the syntax is the same as creating any other class so what we are going to do we are going to create a class with name person like this okay and inside this we are going to define two different functions one is this initiate function that is init okay and here we are going to make use of two different variables let's say f name and l name if you haven't seen my previous lecture then please do check it out in which i have explained you guys how can you make use of this init method okay let's put a colon over here and then in order to fetch the value so self is an object that we that uh, we have used for uh, you know accessing this function which we have defined inside this class so this is how we are going to you know we can uh, we can give the values of f name and l name to these variables first name and let's say last name okay fine so this is the first function let's define one more function uh, with name print name okay so this is the name of the function second function and here i'm going to pass this self as a parameter so this is going to print for us self dot first name and self dot last name okay now let's uh, hit the enter button and let's pass a uh, let's uh, call this class and for doing that what we need to do we need to create an object like this that's how we can call a class and as you can see there are two variables f name and l name for which we have to pass the values right so we can pass it inside this class only like this we can pass the values for the two variables we have made use of uh, while defining this init method okay now what is going to happen this john is going to go inside this f name and it is going to get saved doe do is going to get saved in this l name and finally the value which is there in f name it is going to get transferred uh, in this first name variable and this one is going to get transferred in this last name here self is an object for this uh, function and we have passed this variable over here as a parameter for this print name function fine so this is the way you can fetch the values of these two variables first name and last name using this self object okay this is the method that you need to remember now let's hit the enter button and let's see what is going to happen if we'll call this print name function using this object that we have created for this class person so this is what you will get as an output now let's create a child class so to create a child class that inherits the functionality from another class send the parent class as a parameter when creating the child class let me tell you uh, with the help of an example so you know that's this is how you can create a parent class child class sorry so what we have done here we have passed this parent class as a parameter for this child class okay for this class 
so now student is going to be child class and person is the parent class for this child class let's hit the enter button and because we don't want to define anything inside this class so we can just write down pass over here because uh, you know pass keyword uh, is used when you do not want to add any other properties or methods to any class now the student class has the same properties and methods as a person class so what we can do let's create an object for uh, this class named student so that's how we can do it let's pass two different values okay s should be in capital right let's pass two different values over here the way we pass two different values uh, here for this person class and check out whether we'll be able to get the required the desired result or not so what is going to happen the this value is going to get stored this value mike is going to get stored in this f name and this value is going to get stored in this l name and finally if the value which is there in f name is going to get transferred in first name and the value of this is going to get transferred in this self dot last name and with this function over here we can print the value so for printing the value we need to pass this uh, command we need to call the print name method right so this is what you are going to get as an output now so far we have created a child class that inherits the properties and methods from its parent we want to add the init that is inst uh, instantiate or instantiate function to the child class instead of the pass keyword so you know the init function is called automatically every time the class is being used to create a new object this is what you have to keep in mind now for adding this init method to, to this child class that is a student we can do it like this uh, student and then we need to define the name of the parent class so as to make it a child class and here we can define this init method like this okay and inside this uh, we are going to put three different variables the first one is going to be self the second one is s name uh, f name and the third one is l name right uh, let's now hit the enter button now why are we getting an error over here okay i haven't placed a colon after this so maybe because of that yeah i think just because of that we are getting an error now see uh, when you add the init function the child class will no longer inherit the parents init function remember this thing because now it has got its its own init function fine so what we can do here to keep the inheritance of the parents init function add a call to the parents init function so how can we add a call to the parents init function for doing that we need to make use of the parent class name like this then place a dot underscore underscore in it this is a syntax okay which you have to make use of for calling the init method which you have defined inside the parent class then f name is uh, is a parameter the first parameter and l name is the second parameter let's hit the enter button fine now we have successfully added the init function and kept the inheritance of the parent class and we are ready to add functionality in the init function so python also has a super function uh, the name of the function is super that will make the child class inherit all the methods and properties from its parent now how can you do that you we need to copy this whole thing from here and we can put it like this okay now instead of this person we can write down super so what this super is going to do by using super function you do not have to use the name of the parent element it will automatically inherit the methods and properties from its parent so you know this is the basic funda of this 
super function we have used over here that's it for this lecture hope you enjoyed it a lot please do like and subscribe to my channel also practice everything whatever i am teaching you in these python uh, basic tutorials on your devices daily okay it is going to enhance your coding skills a lot it will it is going to help you a lot in your future also so please keep trying everything whatever i am teaching you god bless you all with a great future and have a great day bye bye